Okay, uh, last time we uh, left off, we created a menu system in the last video. Um, what I'd like to do in this video is kind of um, really push um, to get to a point where um, with the knowledge from this video, you can really, you can really make your own game. Uh, and so we're going to focus on making just one level. Um, you'll find once you can make one level, you can kind of duplicate it and do th different things with it. So um, we want to make one level for an actual game. I'm going to show you guys how to add assets, deal with some physics, and do a whole bunch of things. Um, and so I started with this original diagram here that you can see. Um, basically, um, I just have an outline here. There's a background image um, that we're going to put in. Um, along with that, we are going to have uh, colliders on the outside here. Um, so that our ball can bounce around. We're going to have a hand that can knock our ball. And really the object of this game is just going to be really simple. Try and knock with this hand the ball into this basket without being touched by uh, these bad guys in the middle here. So, a um, pretty simple game object. Um, I'm going to show you how it looks, the finished product, and then we're going to kind of get into code. Um, another thing to keep in mind for this, try and speed up the length of these videos uh, I'm going to be cutting and pasting some code, even though I'll read through the code, but I'm not going to spend time uh, typing it up uh, to try and shorten the length of these videos a little bit. So here we go. Uh, basically, the game finished product should look something like this. You can see I have my kids as the bad guys there. Basically, your job is to try and knock the ball around. If I can get it in a hoop, I win. Plays a sound here. If the bad guys get it, I lost. And it loops back to play the game. Okay, so just a kind of basic overview, simple game. We got a hand, we got a ball, we got bad guys, we got a basket there. We got to try and get that ball up to. So um, let's get started with a new project, kind of where we left off. So let's go uh, new project, and we'll just call this. Uh, I called my last one basketball guys practice. We'll just call this basketball game. Sure. Okay, so just a simple 2D game. So let's make it 2D right from the get-go. Okay, simple stuff. So Unity's firing up there. Um, and so this is what we have, a blank blank kind of game scene. Uh, we know that right away. So let's, um, what we want to do is we want to import. We want to import our custom package that we created of the menu system last time around. So let's do that. Um, I've just saved this uh, copy of that package, I think, on the desktop. I kind of made a resource folder that's going to speed up my end a little bit, uh, whereas you guys are going to have to find some stuff. So we're just going to import that whole package. So we're going to get level one, lose, start, and win. So all four of our kind of different actual level scenes, even though we only have one actual playing level. And so just import, and we should get everything in here. So. Uh, we're going to take a look at that. Um, so we have two folders already set up, so we can click inside the scenes. Now this is in the assets after it was imported. Uh, one thing I noticed about this right away, so let's just open up the start menu. Um, and we're going to have to scroll out to get access to where that is. Okay, our start menu there uh, was fairly straightforward. Um, just a simple start menu. we got a button, start game and quit. Uh, one thing I noticed from last time is our camera, we left it as blue. Let's just, I'd like to change the camera color black so that when we run this, um, it doesn't turn that odd blue color. So let's right away go save scene and let's open up all four of these. So I'm going to quickly go through that start menu, I'll do the windscreen, same thing that camera, it's just cleaning up a little bit from last time around. Um, file, save scene. So we're getting rid of that ugly background camera color that we left last time around before we get started here. File, save scene, and then we're going to do the same thing on level one, main camera. I'm going to change everything to black here. Okay, so, so just some cleaning up from last time. Now the first thing that I'm going to kind of show you guys, um, the first thing I'm going to show you to do is we're actually going to add fonts. So let's create a folder for fonts. Now create folder. Now I'm just going to name this fonts. So you're going to see that we're going to have a lot of folders by the time we get kind of into this game and this is just a simple 2D game. 
And I'm going to click within that fonts folder there. And then I'm just going to kind of move my screen over here. I'm going to get rid of that diagram that I had going on there. Uh, and I have an assets folder, basketball assets here. Um, I don't know. I don't think Unity snaps really super well, but it snaps not too bad. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I want to drag into that fonts folder. I went to a website called, and this is, we've used this in class before, defont.com. And so you can go there and download whatever font you want. Uh, the fonts will come in a zip file. And then when you extract that file, inside that file you'll find a uh, uh, true type um, file type. And then you can just drag and drop that into our fonts there. And what that does, that's going to add a new, new font to our game. And so, um, so we can now use that because when I look at these different levels that we have, uh, when I look at the different scenes, uh, we really, it's kind of ugly. And so I want to kind of, I want to get that kind of sorted out so that that looks a little bit better. Um, let's go back to default view there. I don't like sometimes things get out of whack. So um, what I want to do is I want to actually, I want to uh, change the font on that text there. So just, just to show you how we can start adding some assets here. So uh, what I want to do is go in, into that intro text there. And now that I've added the font in that folder, it's as simple as going to the font type there, click on the little, and right away we can change that. So now that's level one. Easy, file, save scene. So we just added a font color. Of course we could change the color and a whole bunch of things, but I'm not gonna spend time making it look really pretty. Um, we're gonna go into now another scene, loose scene, same kind of thing. Go to that intro text. Now that intro text, we're going to change. Actually, I'm going to get rid of that exclamation mark. I find that that font doesn't look very good. Uh, but I'm going to put you lost. And just sort that out. File, save scene. And uh, start menu, once again. Same kind of deal. I'm going to go inside the canvas. Go to that intro text. And I want to change from Arial to this blocks font I downloaded from defont.com. File, save scene. And I think the last one I need to do is this win. Again, same thing, intro text. Get rid of that exclamation mark. And I'm going to put in here blocks. You won. Uh, fairly straightforward. So just showing you how quickly it is to start adding some assets to uh, your project. So that's just a simple font. Okay, and we've added those fonts. Now if I played, went back to my scenes and did the start menu, and I played that, you would see that now I have the dark background, okay, that I want. Start menu, start game. Um, oh, right away we get this error down here. Couldn't be loaded because it's not been added to the build settings. So I forgot to do the build settings. Might as well do that right away. Um, so just go into file, build settings, and all you need to do in build settings is just shift, select all of your levels, put them up here. A uh, good idea once you're in there to move your start menu to the top most level. And then you just need to build. And once we built once, uh, I'm going to just make, I tend to make another folder for builds. Builds. And I'll just go here and I'll just call this basketball game save and then you can see it's building now um, <coughs> and my basic start menu will work again just like it did um, last time around I don't want to play it from there I'll kill this let's just see this in action remember what we had start game win play again start game fairly straightforward okay um, so we know how this goes um, so we want to get off of start menu. Don't worry about the menu system anymore for a while. And let's get on to looking at level one and setting up level one. That's the purpose of this is actually getting a playable level. So a couple things we need to get rid of on level one. I don't want any of this stuff. I don't want this text. I don't know why I just, I don't know why I just did that for you guys is because we're going to actually get rid of it anyways. So those three things we're just going to get rid of. We're going to start with a blank canvas. Now the canvas itself we're going to leave uh, the way it is. Um, one thing that I'm going to make sure I do with that canvas is I'm going to reset it to 
make sure it's at zero make sure I know where my camera is uh, and we're gonna work with that canvas canvas the game I don't want the free aspect either now let's change that right now game we're gonna set to I have this already set up if you don't hit plus and set up and name it 800 by 600 and make sure you set it 800 by 600 that's what we're gonna use for this game uh, so now when I go back to the scene I can see okay that canvas is gonna be in the window that I'm, I want to operate within in that game scene so I want to operate 800 by 600 is, is what I want to see um, you can rename canvas if you want um, we're just gonna add to it so um, the first thing I'm gonna add is a background image so what I can do is, is again I want to drag and drop so let's just slide this over here see if I can access this window and inside my basketball assets now I've got these set up before because I didn't want to waste you guys time setting these things up um, but basically what I want to do is I want to create a new folder um, create folder I'm gonna call this sprites these are kinda what we're gonna name our 2d images as sprites it's pretty standard um, and I'm gonna move in everything that's an image into that folder that I'm gonna have I'm, so I'm gonna have bad guys uh, I'm gonna have a basketball Better hold down control here. Um, I'm gonna have uh, a hand image, a hoop image, and my this pick here is gonna be my background image. So all those things, and you're gonna have to create them on your own. I'm gonna tell you right now as a tip, I'd save them as a fireworks PNG if you're using fireworks PNG for sure, so you can have a transparent background. We're gonna move those all right into um, right into our uh, project there and so they're right inside sprites here we have the images that we're going to need for this project and now I'm just going to scroll and get that window into a reasonable size and the first one that I'm going to add like I said is just a background image now for some reason this doesn't want to stay where I want it to stay which is 800 by 600 so let's go back now that's there that's where I want it to be uh, make sure I'm going to just save project right now just make sure it knows what's going on Okay, so um, I want to fill a background image within here. Yeah, that's kind of my first object. Now, sometimes when you have these sprites, you get them in first. They're not identified as a sprite right away, and you might have to maybe a texture, and you may have to select from the drop down here and make sure it's a sprite. Now, what you're going to do is just simply, um, the best way that I've found to do this is go game object, and what you're going to do is you're going to add in um, an image background image uh, import set asset spray wonder unapplied import oh sorry uh, I forgot to over here apply what I was doing there oh, it looks like it's okay now anyways anyways I added him in, in an image there so game object I'll just show you that again quickly game object UI image add that in there um, and then from there we can just drag our background image into that sprite as you can see that now appears there and then we what we want to do is I just want to match this up so let's just make this match that background canvas that we have there and then we know we're filling that now there's other ways to do background images this is just the way I've chosen to do it so and then we're just gonna save that scene make sure that we got that so we have a background image there uh, the other thing that we want to add in we might as well add it in right now is the hoop and so I'm gonna go game object UI image and again same kind of thing I'm gonna grab that hoop I'm gonna pull it over there and I'm gonna drop it in there uh, now I'm gonna to want to shrink this down a fair bit I think I'm gonna make this 35 by 35 just so it's a standard kind of size I might change my mind on that size in a minute here I think I'm going to actually so I want to put that hoop up in this top left hand corner not quite the top and then I'm actually going to stretch this out a little bit that's going to look good to me okay so I'm going to basketball hoop there now a couple things I want to do right away and you got to make sure you hit enter after you do this let's call this hoop up in the top corner hit enter make sure that name changes over here if you don't hit enter it's not going to change for you and then over here let's name this first image background 
and make sure you hit enter and you can see they're in, within the canvas